Hello YouTubers, my name is Brian and I just started this channel, so this is my first video, so I'm a little nervous, but um, basically, just to let you know a little bit about me, I'm from DC and I love comic books. I've been collecting comic books since I was young, been reading them since I was young and I am a true collector. Had an awesome collection for a long time, but as I got a little bit older, Mother made me get rid of them when I was not old enough to make the decisions I wanted to make and keep them. But, um, as I got older, I got another collection, but went through some where I kind of lost interest. So I sold that collection, which I regret to this day, because I, all my comics I always kept in mint condition. As soon as I read it, bag and board, and it was in the box, and I took very good care of them, so kind of regret it but anyways um basically i started this channel just to talk about comics that people should try to get as far as an investment um because they're key issues or they're issues with some major in it or first appearances or something um of importance um so um i'm a big marvel person i'm I'm a little bit into DC and I'm a little bit into indie, so you will notice that most of it will be Marvel. Um, I can't tell you the key issues for, you know, a company that I don't really read, so that would just be stupid of me to even talk about some I don't know about. So I'd rather talk about things that I know about. So. Um, Alright, so for today, I'm going to just start off with two books that I just got today. And eventually I'll go into other books that I have in my collection. And I will show you books as I, you know, start buying books. So, today, the two books I have to show you are these two. Captain America 110. If you can see it, there you go. And Marvel Secret Wars number three, which a lot of people sleep on. Everybody just thinks about number eight. But the reason why these two books are key issues because Hulk, I mean Captain America 110, is the first appearance of Madame Hydra, which later becomes Viper. Um, as you know, they've been really pushing everything about Hydra so eventually she will come into play um and I think she will come into play in a big way so that's why that issue is a key issue I definitely think you should have in your collection um I got it for let's see can you see it as you can see I got it for $35 and um i would say it's in mm, very fine condition um might be very fine minus but i really looked at it the back the front everything i don't really see too much that's the only thing is it doesn't have sharp corners and it has a little tick on the spine but other than that it looks pretty good it of course the color ain't as bright also so um but it's definitely a key issue people should get don't sleep on this issue right now 35 to me was a little i tried to talk him down but he wasn't budging and i was just like okay when will i get another chance to buy it for that price and that condition so of course i'm gonna get a cgc i'm gonna try to um get stanley's signature on it first but um the marvel secret wars number three as you can see the reason why that issue is a key issue is because the first appearance of titana and volcano um these two characters right now are not that important but with the marvel u and the way they're pumping out TV shows on Netflix and the movies and everything they're doing. 
I wouldn't be surprised if eventually they come into play too, especially since um you know, Absorbing Man has already been in Marvel's Agents of Shield. Um and you know, him and Titana, they was a, a couple in the books. So, um I don't know, they might try to some way or another have them together in some type of way in the future, I think. Um, I'm just speculating, but another great thing about that issue that a lot of people, if you haven't read that issue, you need to read that issue because Spider-Man basically manhandles the X-Men. Like, it's kind of, it just shows that when it comes to Spider-Man, if he doesn't, he could really do some damage to some people. Like, people be sleeping on him. Like, if he was to ever, like, get a little evil side to him, he will whoop a lot of people, like, for real, like, in this issue, of course, Charles Xavier erased his mind of him even, you know, fighting them and stuff, so, but overall, it's in the close quarters, people can't, it's hard to do anything against him, so, people be sleeping on Spider-Man, like I said, and in fact, in the um, whole series, um, whoever wrote the series, I'm trying to remember who wrote the series. I don't remember off the top of my head, but I will say that throughout the whole series, he kicked butt. Like he, he they they showed what he could do, especially when he fought Titana. Like he just she couldn't even touch him. He just treated her like she was nothing. And this is a powerhouse. You know what I'm saying? She's supposed to be strong, strong. You know that could lift some heavy shit. And it's powerful, but at the end of the day, if you can't touch Spider-Man, you can't do nothing to him. And the whole time, he's just fucking you up slowly but steadily. He'll wear you down. So, people need to, um, and I, I think I wasn't supposed to cuss, but I apologize if I did. Um, if I'm not supposed to. But, um, yeah, so, stop sleeping on Spider-Man. That's all I gotta say about that. Um. So that issue, definitely people should get it. It's under the radar still. It's still cheap to get. Um, everybody goes after number eight, the first black costume, of course. Of course, of course. So um, it's a good book to get while it's still cheap. Because, as you know, whenever they show somebody on the TVs or the movies, the price goes up. So get it now while you can. And... This is my first video, like I said, so it might be a little, you know, here and there with it, but definitely you will be seeing more of me, and I will be talking about some more key issues, and I will show whatever I buy, even if it's not a key issue, because I, I tend to buy certain things that if I, I read it in the past and I loved it, I'm going to buy it again if I don't have it, so, um, um. So this is my first video and I hope this y'all subscribe, put a like, and hopefully, you know, you'll check me out some more in the future. Alright, thank you. Peace.